Have you been considering adding a Shih Tzu to your family but are unsure on what they're really like? Well in today's video we're going to be taking a deep dive into how the Shih Tzu is at home around children and to see if they could be the perfect canine companion for you. Welcome back to the Femre Shih Tzu Show. If this is your first time here, my name is Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FemreCanineLeaders.com. Everything we do here is dedicated to helping you find the perfect breed for you and then helping you become a high level canine leader who can raise the perfect canine companion. If that sounds like you, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to make sure you never miss another upload. So, let's dive right into today's video. The Shih Tzu originates from Tibet. They were kept by Tibetan monks in the monasteries. They were soon recognised for their companionship and ability to become good watchdogs. The Shih Tzu was originally known as the Tibetan Lion Dog. They were often sent to Chinese emperors as gifts. This is where they were bred with pugs and Pekingese to become the Shih Tzus we know and love today. Despite Shih Tzus being bred as watchdogs, they're now bred solely as companion dogs. They're happy, social and affectionate dogs that love to curl up in their owner's lap to nap. Shih Tzus love their owners unconditionally. They'll soon make strong bonds with their family members and become their owner's shadow. Shih Tzus can be difficult to toilet train though. This is often the case with smaller breeds. But with a proper toilet training plan in mind, this can easily be remedied. I'd advise to make toilet training as easy and stress-free as possible. You create a plan that you'll not set your puppy up to fail. Due to the Shih Tzus dedication to please their owners, this makes obedience and manners training relatively easy. However, another downside to the Shih Tzu is because of their affectionate nature, they can suffer from separation anxiety if they're left alone for long periods of time. The Shih Tzu is best suited to families that has someone around the home all day or if a member of the family can return home at points throughout the day. It's still important to teach your Shih Tzu that it's okay to be left alone sometimes. Training your Shih Tzu how to deal with separation anxiety should start from the minute you bring your new puppy home. This can be achieved by first getting your puppy used to a crate. This can be done with crate games, for example playing a game of fetch and throwing the ball or toy into the crate. Once your Shih Tzu has a positive association with the crate, you can put them in their crate for a minute. Once they're comfortable with this, after a few attempts, you can move on to the next stage. This is when you can close the crate door. After your puppy gets comfortable with this and stays in the crate without any crying or howling, you can slowly increase the time that they're left in the crate. This should never be a rushed process. Eventually, after some time and dedication, your Shih Tzu should realise that being on their own isn't as scary as they think it is and that their owners will always return to them. If you do not show your Shih Tzu that being left alone throughout the day for short periods of time is okay, they may turn to unwanted behaviours like digging, chewing, anxious pacing and howling. Hey guys, really quick message. I just wanted to let you know that we have a completely free course called The Principles to the Perfect Puppy. It's where I've boiled down and condensed all of my skill set, experience and knowledge in raising perfect puppies into this mini course. Like I say, it is completely free. If you are interested in checking it out or just want some more information, there'll be a link in the description box below. And if you are interested, I can't wait to speak to you over there as well. Shih Tzus can also get bored very easily. It's essential that they are both physically and mentally stimulated. They require at least an hour of exercise a day, preferably two 30 minute walks, one in the morning and one in the afternoon. Shih Tzus can also do very well in certain dog sports like agility, obedience and rally. They also need mental stimulation. There are also many different ways to keep your Shih Tzu mentally stimulated, including puzzle toys and enrichment toys. The Shih Tzu is the perfect canine companion to become your children's best friend. They're gentle and loving around children. The Shih Tzu can be fragile, so it's essential that you teach your children how to be around them. They must know how to handle them and when to leave them alone for some quiet time. Children must know to never approach any dog whilst they're eating or sleeping. Shih Tzus also get along with all types of animals when they've been properly socialised to different sights, sounds and smells of the world. The Shih Tzu is a devoted canine that would be the perfect addition to any family. They love everyone they meet, including animals and humans alike. As long as you ensure they do not suffer from separation anxiety, they are the perfect canine companion for families, first time dog owners and lovers of the breed. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comments section below. And don't forget, if you are new here, to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Shih Tzu videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Shih Tzu Show.